Hello, my name is Analyst KB, and this is my flawless, beautiful, million dollar perfect bracket. Let's get started. We're starting with the plan. We'll start with the West, and the first game I'll talk about is the 9 10 Kings versus Warriors. I will take the Warriors in this game for the reason that uh, the Kings, probably the Kings' third best player, Malik Monk, who, is, who was the sixth man of the year uh, favorite before he got a knee injury, is out. Uh, for this plan and the Warriors are really hot I think they've won like 10 out of their last 12 or something something like that and they got the the championship pedigree they got the playoff experience they got Steph Curry I will take them to move on to the next round of the plan for a chance at the eight seed and for the next one the seven eight I got the I got the Lakers over the Pelicans because again injuries the Pelicans are missing Brandon Ingram who is their best scorer and the Lakers are also hot they're, they're also, uh, they're like the Warriors. They have playoff experience. They have the championship pedigree. Uh, and the Pelicans, I don't even think Zion's been in the playoffs. He hasn't been in the playoffs. And I think the Lakers will win this game with LeBron and AD dominating. They get the seven seed to play the Nuggets, which is not good for the Lakers. It's not good. And that means in the play-in to get the eight seed, it'll be the Warriors versus the Pelicans. I do got the Warriors winning this game. Which means Zion still misses the playoffs. Zion, we, if this happens, Zion will still not have a playoff game under his belt. Which is very crazy since he was the most high prospect before Wimbenyama. And, yeah. That's crazy. On the other side, the East playing, the 9-10 is Bulls versus Hawks. These two teams are terrible. If they were out West, they wouldn't even make the plan. But since they're East and the West is so much better than the East this year... They are below 500 teams making the plan. Uh, I do got the Hawks in this game because they got Trey Young, who is better, who is the best player in this game, uh, and he he performs well in plans. He doesn't get to the playoffs, but he he performs well in the plan. Uh, so I got the Hawks winning that game against the Bulls, and the 76ers and Heat. I do got the Heat. Now I do know with with Joel Embiid, the the 76ers are probably like a top three team in the East. But it's Jimmy Butler in the playoffs. Come on, man. You know I got to pick Jimmy Butler, the Heatles. Come on. You you know I got to do that. And the main reason is, well, first of all, Joel Embiid isn't 100%. Second, he's just a playoff choker. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, Jimmy Butler is a playoff riser. So it just makes sense. It really just does make sense. So for... The um so the Heat move on to face the Knicks, which means the Hawks play the 76ers for the eight seed. I do got the 76ers winning this game. Uh, they're they're just too good with Joel Embiid to not even make the playoffs. Now they do with that win they they are forced to play the Celtics, which is better than most people think. If if any other team in this play and played the Celtics, it'd be five games or lower. But with the 76ers, I don't know. I, I don't know. It might it might get uh might get scary. You never know. So now we move on to the first round in the West. The Thunder versus the Warriors. Uh, this is tough. Now, if this does happen, I feel like I feel like a good amount of people will pick the Warriors to win the series. Because the Thunder... I saw a stat. The Thunder are the youngest team to win a conference. And it's not even close. Like, ever. The Thunder are the youngest team to ever win a conference. And it's like, by two years. Which is crazy. And, since the Warriors, like, that, that big three, that uh, core has four championships together, uh, they have, they, Steph Curry probably has more playoff, playoff games played than the whole entire Thunder roster combined. So that's probably one of the main reasons they'll pick the uh, Warriors in the series. I, I won't. I'll take the Thunder in seven. I do, it'll be a really close series. Uh, but I, I will have the uh, Thunder winning that in seven. And that's because even though... They, the Warriors have more playoff experience. The Thunder is flat out a better team. They're just a better team. So I'll, I'll take the better team, the one seed, the, the the team that got the number one seed in one of the toughest Western conferences ever. I'll take them to move on to the second round. Uh, Clippers, Mavericks. I got the Mavericks. Uh, I think I have the Mavericks in six. Let me check. Pretty sure I have the Mavericks in six. Uh, yes, I do have the Mavericks in six. Oh, sorry, I was just checking out my phone. I have notes down. Uh, I have the Mavericks in six, and that's because, well, if, if you would have asked me this question 
like say two and a half months ago, I would I would say the Clippers make the Western Conference Finals easily. But since then, uh, I don't think I, I'm not too high on the Clippers anymore. They they went on like a 30 game stretch. They only lost five games. They went 25 and five in a 30 game stretch, which is very very insane. But we're talking about the, we're talking about uh, Luka Doncic, who might be the MVP. Personally, I'd pick Jokic, but Luka is definitely number two to me. And we got Kyrie Irving, like them together. That's the highest scoring duo in the NBA. Luka averages 34, Kyrie averages like 27. That's insane. Uh, and unlike last year where they paired up and they didn't, they didn't make the play and they got the 11th seed last year, they got helped out. They, they got Daniel Gafford. They got uh, P.J. Washington. Uh, they, they still have um, Tim Hardaway Jr., who is one of the best six men in the, in the league. And the Clippers are not hot. They, I think they're below 500 since that 30-game uh, stretch where they were dominant, the best team in the NBA. They're under 500 since then. And the Mavericks are really hot. And I know they did just lose by 50 to the Thunder uh, a couple days ago, like a day ago. That's because they were undermanned. The Mavericks are undermanned. So I will take the the uh, Mavericks in this. Sorry for over-explaining if that was an over-explanation. That's just how I do it. Timberwolves versus Suns. Now, I do like the Suns, and that's because I like KD. KD's my favorite player, but I have to be re- I have to be realistic here. I have to be realistic. I think the Timberwolves do win this series. Uh, the Suns are just top-heavy. Now, if the Suns had depth, I'd take the Suns to probably make the finals, honestly, because they got the best. They got uh, saw some of the best superstars in the league, but their depth is just not it. Their depth is not it. I will take the T-Wolves in six. Timberwolves have the best defense in the league. Uh, yeah. They got Anthony Edwards, who is overhyped. He is overhyped. I don't care what anyone says. He is overhyped. He is not Michael Jordan. He is not Kobe Bryant. I I know, I know you know. I'm talking to you. Who I I know you know. I know you know. I'm directing this toward one person and one person only. I I know. I know you know who you are. I know it. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. I I wish I could pick the Suns. But I have to be realistic. Like, I can't be delusional. I love KD, but I feel like if he gets bounced out in the first round, he might request a trade, or he might he might just want to go to a different team. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Hopefully, he saves the Suns though, because that'll just tarnish his legacy even more to just jump teams again. And then Nuggets versus Lakers. Uh, I got the late. I, I got the Nuggets in five. This is the worst possible matchup for a first round for the Lakers. If now if they paid the if they played the Thunder, I'd have the Lakers in like six. Uh, because they really, really they they dominated the Thunder in the in the regular season. Yeah, I got the Nuggets five. They got maybe the three-time MVP Nikola Jokic. They're the back. They're the defending champions. Uh. And let, let's be real, LeBron is old, okay? That's obvious. But he's so old that he has to pick his spots. He has to pick his spots for uh, where he wants to go off. The Nuggets are not old. The Nuggets can go 100% for all the time they're on the court. LeBron can't. And this isn't this isn't hate towards LeBron. It's just facts. He's old. He can't carry a team like that anymore. I, I don't even think LeBron's the best player on the Lakers. I think it's AD. Uh, it's it'll just be too much firepower. Remember last year, the uh, the Nuggets swept the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. So, I feel like it, it won't be a sweep, but it'll definitely be bad for the Lakers. I feel like it'll be a couple blowouts. Uh, Nuggets advance to the second round. Moving on to the East first round, Celtics and 76ers. I got the Celtics in six. Now. If this was the Bulls, Celtics would sweep. If this was the Hawks, Celtics would sweep. If this was the Heat, probably Celtics in five, maybe six. This will be closer than most people think. And most most casuals will say, this is a one versus an eight. Obviously, the one would blow them out a couple times. Obviously, the Celtics are the best team in the NBA. I don't think there will be a single blowout in this series. I think this will be close game after close game after close game, you know. Because... With Joel Embiid, like before the injury, the 76ers the were like 26 and 8. They were on pace to be like the two seed in the East. So, yeah. Uh, now, 
Celtics just have too much firepower. They have the best starting five in the NBA. Derek White, Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and uh, Chris Tapps Porzingis. So, in the end, in reality, Celtics will win this series. Uh, yeah, but if Joel Embiid was 100% and they were in their, they were in their early season form, I might just. I might just mess around and just take the 76ers. But I won't do that. I will take the Celtics. Moving on to the Cavaliers and Magic. Uh, I think this will be a seven-game series. It's the Cavaliers. I, I don't trust the Cavaliers, really. I, I, I don't trust the Cavaliers. But the Magic are really, 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 really young. But they, and they, they do have the second-best defense that they made the Magic do. In... Um, I will take the uh, Magic at 7, though. I'll take the Magic at 7. Uh, just because I don't trust the Cavaliers. Don't trust them at all. Yeah. Pacers and Bucks. I I think um, for most people in Indiana, they'll pick the Pacers just because the Pacers beat the Bucks four out of five times in the regular season. Uh, but I'm not one of those people. I'm not delusional. Um... When the Pacers beat the Bucks all the times, Tyrese Halliburton was playing like a first team All NBA uh, member. Since since the All Star break, he has been uh, underwhelming, and all signs point to the Pacers. I I know, I know, I know. But it's Giannis in the playoffs, and Giannis in the playoffs goes off. Uh, now some, some you might be labeled as a choke artist sometimes. I don't understand that though. I, I really don't understand that. Because he's won an NBA Finals. He's not like Joel Embiid or like Jason Tatum or, you know, people like that. He's won an NBA Finals. He had one of the best Finals performances of all time in 2021 against the Suns. Uh, so I don't understand that narrative. And the Pacers have no defense. They do maybe have the best offense in the NBA. They have no defense. And same, same with the Bucks. But the Bucks have better. They they have significantly better defense than the. Uh, Pacers. That's because they have Giannis, Brooke Lopez. I hate to say it, but Patrick Beverly. And uh, I hate Patrick Beverly, but he's he's pretty good at defense. He is a uh, a nuisance. Now overall, I will take the Bucks in six. I might lean towards seven, but Halliburton hasn't been playing the same since the All Star break. Doesn't mean that he's playing bad. He just hasn't been playing uh, as he was before the All Star break where he was looking like the best point guard in the league for some time. Uh, so I will take the Bucks in six in that. And now for the 2-7, Knicks and Heat. This is an upset. I got the Heat over the Knicks. And that is because the Knicks don't have Julius Randle, who is their second best player, and a vital role, and a vital part of their uh, offense. He's a bruiser. And... Uh, they also don't got Mitchell Robinson, but honestly, that isn't such a big deal because, to be honest, Isaiah Hardenstein has been playing better than Mitchell Robinson since uh, Robinson's gotten hurt. Like, really, Mitchell, like, what does Mitchell Robinson do? Now, let, let's be honest. Me, if I was seven foot two like Mitchell Robinson, I'd be better than Mitchell Robinson. And I'm not even saying that like I'm joking. I would genuinely be better than Mitchell Robinson. Like, what does he do? He just takes up space and blocks shots. That's all he does. He's trash, I tell you. He's trash. So, I will take the Heat in six. The Heat will upset another opponent like they did last year and the year before. And the year, no, they've done it the last two years. So, I, I do think this, this will happen again. It's a recurring theme. The Heat got playoff Jimmy. Uh, and playoff Jimmy is a deadly opponent. Deadly. Deadly. He averaged like 37 last year in the playoffs, which is just insane. Yeah. So, overall, I got the Heat in six. And they move on to the second round. Conference semis in the West. Thunder and Mavericks. Uh, I, I'll have the Mavericks in this game. Uh, in, in this series, I mean. Uh, realistically... The Thunder aren't the best team in the West. I'd say they're clearly the third best team in the West. Uh, and I think this is where their uh, lack of playoff experience catches up to them. Luka doesn't have, like, a crazy amount of playoff experience, but he's been in the playoffs, like, 
I'd say, th four out of the six years that he's been in the league. Now, he's only made it far once, but it's Luka Doncic. He's arguably the best player in the NBA. So, and, and they got Kyrie, who who is who is um, flowing with playoff experience. Uh, he won an NBA Finals in 2016 with LeBron. Uh, I will take the Mavericks. I'll take them. Let me check. It's either six or seven. I'll, I'll take them at seven. That's what my note says. I'll take the Mavericks at seven. Uh, just because of the Thunder's lack of playoff experience. And then Timberwolves versus Nuggets. Uh, I, I just watched the game, uh, a game, a, re a regular season game between the uh, Nuggets and T-Wolves. And it was a pretty good game. The Nuggets did, did come out on top, 116-107. to 107. Uh, But it was really close. Uh, the Nuggets are the uh, defending champions. Timberwolves are overrated. They got the best defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nuggets in seven. Nuggets in seven. Uh, I might be a bit biased here. Now, I don't admit that I'm biased. Actually, no, I'm not biased. Why would I be biased? I'm perfect in every single way. I'm perfect in every single way. And don't you ever forget that. Please don't ever forget that. I'm perfect in every single way. And you know it. You know it. Uh, yeah, it's just... The, the Timberwolves are young as well. They're not as young as other teams like the Magic or the Thunder. So they, they still got old guys like Mike Conley. They got Rudy Gobert. Uh, stuff like that. Carl, Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, but to a certain extent, I don't even think the Timberwolves deserve, like, they're, they're, they're a fraudulent two seed. Uh, they're a fraudulent three seed, I mean. So, yeah. Nuggets in seven. They face the, th they face the Mavericks in the Western Conference Finals. Now on the East, Celtics and Magic. Uh, Celtics in four. The Magic will get absolutely destroyed by the Celtics in this series if this does happen. And the main reason is because even though the Magic have the best defense, the Celtics have arguably the best offense, and they have like a top five defense. The Magic aren't really that good on offense. They have a, they have a trash uh, half-court uh, offense. And the Celtics got 64 wins this season. 64 uh, that's, that's some of the best in NBA history. They're one of the best regular seasons in NBA history. They're one of the best teams ever in the in the in the regular season. So next year, if if this was a a, a progressed Magic team, I'd say probably Celtics in six. But the Magic are still really young. They're still really young. They, they got one more year, and then they can actually contend for something, at least the Conference Finals. So Celtics in four. Uh. And then for the uh, Bucks and Heat, now we saw this series last year. Uh, Giannis got injured for two out of the five games, through three out of the five games, something like that. And the the Heat did as the eight seed. They they did pull off the upset against the one seed Bucks. They beat them in five games. Uh, this year it's not going to happen. The Heat are probably worse this year than they were last year. Uh, and really, I don't know why. I, I just feel that way. I just feel that way. Uh, they they will. They, they, they will make this a series. I'll say... They'll make it a great series, actually. I'll, I'll say Bucks in seven. I'll say Bucks in seven. Uh, which will make uh, the Commerce Finals in the East be the, Celt the Celtics and Bucks, which since the start of the season felt inevitable that the Celtics and Bucks would make the Commerce Finals. But, yeah. I don't see the Heat making a run again. Especially as a lower seed like they were last year. I don't... I, I just, I don't like, I, I don't like that uh, thought. I don't. So, in the West, it's the, it's the Mavericks and the Nuggets. In the East, it's the Celtics and the Bucks. Okay, moving on to the Western Conference Finals, Mavericks and Nuggets. Uh, this is where the, the Mavericks run ends. I, I know the Mavericks are good. They're not that good, though. They're not that good to beat the Nuggets. Uh, I'll say Nuggets in six. Personally, I I could see people taking Nuggets in five as well. I wouldn't. I couldn't see them taking a sweep because it's it's Luka Doncic. They're they're gonna get at least one game. But yeah, it's, they're the defending champs for a reason. 
they really didn't lose that many uh, important players, except for like Bruce Brown, uh, players like that. But yeah, Jokic has arguably gotten better this year. Uh, Jamal Murray, even though he's been injured, has been has been doing good. Michael Porter Jr. has been better. Aaron Gordon's been about the same. And that team steamrolled to the uh, finals. So, no reason for me not to pick them. This was my preseason prediction, and I will stick by it. So, Nuggets in six. It'll be... It'll likely be the top two MVP uh, candidates facing off in the Western Conference Finals, so it should be cool to watch. It'll be really cool to watch see who I perform, too. And in the East, uh, Celtics and Bucks. Uh, I got the Bucks in seven. Uh... This is also my my preseason prediction. Now, I do have confidence in the Bucks, but to say the Bucks will make the NBA Finals is kind of a long shot. It, I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a long shot because they have been struggling. They, they didn't even get 50 wins this season, uh, so they they really underperformed. They didn't get 50 wins this season. They didn't even reach the 50 mark. Like, how? You have Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo, and you don't even reach the 50 win mark. That's terrible, dude. But I got to stick with it. I did have Nuggets and Bucks in the finals for my preseason, so I got to stick with it. But in reality, it's probably going to be the Celtics, but I'm going to stay confident. I'm going to stay confident that the Bucks will make the finals. Uh, Yeah. The only way that I can see the Bucks winning the series is Bucks and seven. I don't see how they'd win four and six. Uh, I don't see how they how they'd win four games and six games against the Celtics, who who probably had like a top ten regular season of all time. Uh, so yeah, I'm not I'm not too confident, but at the same time I'm really confident. If that makes any sense. So going on in the NBA Finals, Nuggets versus Bucks. Uh, two of the best, maybe, maybe the uh, third MVP candidate, Giannis, against uh, probably the winner, Jokic. But it's more than that. Th- this is this is what I've been wanting to see all year: Nuggets versus Bucks in the finals. Um, uh, I do got the Bucks in seven. Now, not not now, now that I'm looking at this, uh. There is a lot of series that I do have the Bucks in seven. I'll probably uh, edit this and switch one of these to Bucks in six. I don't know which one, but yeah, I got uh, got the Bucks winning. And the main reason, well, other than that's my preseason prediction, is that even though the Bucks underperformed in the in the regular season they still got Damian Lillard who is a who has two playoff buzzer beaters to win series not not just win games to win a to win an entire series he's got playoff buzzer beaters like that against the Thunder in 2019 and against the Rockets in like 2015 so it's not like he's bad I mean he's been worse this year than last year uh his uh, efficiency says that but that's because he's playing with Giannis that is uh, scoring us down yeah, Giannis is the clear number one on that team. But to have Damian Lillard as your number two average, like 32 last year, on the Trailblazers, is a plus. And they, they got a great supporting cast. Brooke Lopez, got Bobby Portis, Patrick Beverly, Pat Connaughton, uh, people like that. So, it's this is also a long shot to say the Bucks win the finals. They're probably like the fifth favorite. Behind, like, the Thunder, Nuggets, Timberwolves, and Celtics. Probably the fifth favorite. But I don't like I don't like picking, like, the number one favorite. The number one favorite will, will probably be the Celtics and then the Nuggets. But, yeah. Now, don't... Now, don't tell me that I'm just trying to be different. I'm not trying to be different. This is my preseason prediction. I promise you. I, I promise. I promise. So... I know, I know I'm talking a lot, and there's not much for me else to talk about. And I don't know how I can sway anyone's opinions that the Celtics or the Nuggets won't win the finals. It'll be the Bucks, with be honest. I don't know how I can sway your opinion. You just gotta believe me. Now, come June, mid-June, when this, when this comes to fruition, 
look back at this video and say that I am the best sports analyst. This is the flawless, beautiful million dollar perfect bracket. You see it, you see it at the bottom right there. Analyst KB's flawless, beautiful million dollar perfect bracket. Smiley face, so I'm being nice with it too. You you can't you can't disrespect me after I'm being nice to you. So, anyways, I know I was talking a lot, I was, I was rambling on. I just wanted to get this video out quick because I want to do other videos. Uh, hopefully this turns out good. So I'm done. I'm, I'm done talking. You can stop watching the video now. Uh, yeah. Goodbye.